Hello and welcome to this introductory video course to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement. This is the platform formerly known and still referred to in many circles as CRM or Dynamics CRM. My name is Nikolai Tarla, Nico for short. I have been a Business Solutions MVP since 2014, have authored several books on this topic and presented at conferences and user groups. In my day-to-day -day job, I assist clients select, implement, and maintain solutions at both SMB and enterprise level. From a technology standpoint, I focus on Dynamics 365, Office 365, and Azure. This introductory course is aimed at platform users, both new and existing. It'll help you become a more efficient user, a power user. The course walks you through the selection and licensing of the various functional modules, provides an overview of all the available modules, as well as provides details on the various deployment models available. Towards the end of the course, we're going a little deeper by looking at the overall platform structure, understanding the terminology, and getting the knowledge necessary to allow us to talk to technical people when requesting features and functionality. I can be reached through various channels. I blog at thecrmwiz.com and host a page on Facebook where I put up items of interest happening with the platform. In addition, you can find me on Twitter. With that being said, let's embark in this journey and learn the very basics of Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement. In this course, we're going through the following sections. The first section starts with an review of licensing of individual functional modules, the ability to license an individual module or a package of multiple modules, as well as walk you through the creation of a 30-day trial environment that you can use to follow through the following topics. The next few modules take you through the individual functional modules available on the platform. We start in section two with an overview of the sales module. This covers the process to manage your customers and your sales processes. We close this section with a quick overview of goal tracking, reporting, and intelligence features. The third section of the course focuses on the customer service functional module. Here, we look at case management as well as the customer service hub. This replaces the outdated interactive service hub and adds new features and functionality. The fourth part of this course covers the field service functional module. We're looking at what is the purpose of this module, we're doing a quick overview of the scheduling capabilities as well as the core concepts of inventory management. The fifth module of the course moves on to the project service automation functional module. Here, we get an overview of functionality, including aspects around the resource management and project management capabilities. We close this module with a discussion around time and expense submission and tracking. The sixth module takes us through an overview of the deployment options for Dynamics 365. Unlike other platforms, here we have a choice between an online deployment model or an on-premise model. We cover some of the factors to consider when choosing a deployment model, making the distinction between a standard platform deployment and an entire environment. We talk a little about the ability to have any platform deployment option working in conjunction with other integrated platforms for what makes a hybrid environment. From the seventh module onwards, we start to dig deeper into the platform. The section looks at the underlying structure of the platform. We look at the core components making up the platform, the functional versus logical separation as seen with the various modules, as well as some recommendations and best practices. Section eight focuses on the concept of entities. They are the core of the platform. We review the various entity types, their relationships, as well as what they're made of. The final section, section nine, takes us back to the core. With an understanding of the moving parts of the platform, we have another look at functional modules. Now we can relate to the out-of-the-box functional modules offered with the platform. We also introduce here the concept of custom functional modules. This is what gives us the ability to extend and change the platform to fit our business model. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this course. Hope you'll have as much fun going through it as I had building it.